Trust a tourist advertisement. If I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> stand out from the crowd. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fear not. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds... charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot. Or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought, like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Well, that's it for now, I think. Thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well... Perhaps we can help each other. If I may ask, what happened to your son? 
Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth or ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just... refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. Mr. Throgmorton. Let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera. You have a point, newcomer. Sorry, did you just say... Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Tane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it.
take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone... T there was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside. On his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and, okay, my head began to burst. And he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me... Ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. It was out of starve. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Do you know how Paul died? I... don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already... gone. Kay, have mercy on his soul. Who is this Kay you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. Kay is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I, I didn't know. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or... Okay. Did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. And the police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Knives like this before. Masterful work. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. not himself. He attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Thank <laughs> you. 
So the fishermen pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. Exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Seen a commission. Yeah. Try to avoid. Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah. I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. My condolences. You couldn't tell me you. Yeah, seems like Lewis, he turns out you. Yeah. Bring me that. Come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of, uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. Really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonters deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered. And many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new. A hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too, but you'll only see that from inside. <laughs> 
a metal cage and and tall pillars circled by the dead a race from one to the next as time itself laughs thank you i'll keep that in mind you are welcome i can't wait to see what you do Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throgmorton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with them once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. I've seen some unsettling creatures around, like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are. But consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Bye. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Throg. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Married, gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listen to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out I was right. What kind of. 
Why do you... your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I... I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head honchos of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. It turns out I arrived here unprepared for business. You give me a little something to get started, and my lips are sealed. I knew you'd understand. Here you are, Mr. Reed. Just as I suspected, the Innsmouther Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Just ask the bartender. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family, and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes. You've earned it. 
okay to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I... I think I'm... I was... Been on my phone. I'm I... Do the... Sin... What a... You may... You... As your... You... Be sit... Hey... Hi... When you... They... I... 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 I